Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Zach Allwright, the VP of Projects and Evaluation at Faraday Copper. Zach, it's good to meet you. How are you? Hi, Shay. Doing great. Thank you. Great to meet you. Now, it's fabulous to have you on today. Uh, I've been learning all about the exciting progress over at the Copper Creek Project, but I wanted to have you on so I could ask why you wanted to join this company in this project, because it seems quite meaty. Yeah, good question, Shay. I mean, for me, it was all about really three things. It's about the project, the people, and the timing. Uh, that was a really the reason I joined the Faraday Copper team. Um, a little bit of context here on the project. For me, there was an excellent mineral endowment coming in with around 5 billion pounds of copper and 200,000 meters of drilling. Really was an excellent starting point for this project. And you consider all of the infrastructure that's nearby, really good starting point. Uh, the people, most of the team were familiar to me. Uh, what mattered to me was no compromise on the technical process. Um, so really high quality team with experience uh, with copper assets in the region uh, and timing. I think we're all here because we believe in the fundamentals of US domestic demand for copper. And that's really uh, why I joined the team and, and why we're all here. It's not often I get an Australian accent talking back to me from a Canadian based company with a US based project. So I sort of want to ask, what is your background and how did you become involved with this project? Yeah, Shay, um, I'm a mining engineer. Uh, originally, I studied at the WA School of Mines in Kalgoorlie. Uh, subsequently, I went back and did a, an MBA at the Curtin School of Business in, in Perth. Um, and I started my career in the goldfields of WA. I moved around Australia a little bit. I uh, went overseas to Asia. So I moved across to Canada roughly 14 years ago. Um, I've been involved uh, through the Americas on projects from production engineering to studies all the way through to the end of the process, which is typically m and so how is a mining engineer involved with the Copper Creek project in Arizona? Yeah, so my involvement, Jay, is essentially looking at the resource that we have through the economic and the engineering lens. You know, what does that really involve for me? It's looking at everything from how we do our drill hole planning, really looking at what moves the needle for the project, and all the way through to considering what a potential production or operational scenario could be for the Copper Creek project. And where do you see this project going forward in the future? Obviously, the company is still at the infill drilling and exploration stage. What kind of progress do you expect to see going forward? Yeah, so we made a lot of uh, technical and exploration progress over the last two years since we put out the original MRE back in uh, 2022 and uh, subsequently updated in 2023. So looking ahead for me, it's about bringing all of the hard work done over the last sort of two year period and consolidating that to a technical report update. Um, so just a, a reminder on what a, what a few of those catalysts are. You know, we've done two years of drilling since the MRE came out. So naturally, uh, there would be an MRE update uh, on the near-term horizon. Uh, we spoke previously about gold potentially being considered in the resource. Uh, we have had exceptional metallurgical results uh, that we put out quite recently. All of those things really come together to essentially form a step change in what the productive capacity and economics of this project could be. Thank you so much for being here today, Zach. I have thoroughly enjoyed learning about Copper Creek and also to uh, your expertise and where it fits in. It was great meeting you. Great to meet you, Shay. Thank you very much. 